hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is joe loves farms here how you all doing i hope you're all taking care of yourself and being good i am also doing very well and staying safe as always so if you're new to my channel before i begin please subscribe to receive notification and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that i'll be able to receive updates of when i upload new videos into my channel and to those of you who have already subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you thank you so much as always for supporting me and i'm grateful to you guys so today's video is just for us to discuss whether there is the need for we as poultry farmers to have veterinary officers visiting our farms once in a while so guys um the answer to this question is to me the answer is yes I think it is very important that we as poultry farmers once in a while have uh, veterinary officers visit our farms to check on our chickens even when there is nothing wrong with the chickens we don't need them to come and visit our farms only when we suspect that there's um, anything wrong with the birds but also it is important for them to visit us once in a while even when there's nothing wrong so that they'll be able to check to see how we are doing our work so they'll be able to check to see how the bears are getting on so they'll be able to come and give us their expertise on some of the things that we are supposed to do sometimes we might not be doing the things that we are supposed to do right although we have um, good farm managers in our farms who are, able, who are supposed to be taking care of these things when um, these vet officers come in they are able to see the simple things that we are not able to see our farm managers are not able to see and are able to recommend to them the right ways of doing things so i believe it is important that once in a while we have um vet officers come into our farms to do this visit just be there to check on things and tell us how we are doing and what we are not supposed to do and the ways that we can correct some of these things that we are doing wrong so guys for the first time since starting our poultry last year we are almost um a year into running our poultry farm yes we are just um this year um i think in october will be one year of running our farm and um we've had no visit from a vet officer yes we've had no visit so far from a vet officer because we believe that our farm manager it's been doing a good job but all the same um we since our best in room one certain lane guys we have concerns in regards to um their eggs production i think in their during their fifth week of laying we we saw um sharp decrease in their egg production which really got us worried so we asked our farm manager if he knew of any vet officer who could come in to check on the birds because at the beginning uh, they were doing very well in terms of their egg production they were laying very well then all of a sudden there was a sharp decrease in their egg production they were not producing the way that they were expected to so we spoke to our farm manager and asked him to look for someone to look for a vet officer who could come in to check on the birds to make sure they were okay and guys can you believe this our farm manager called this vet that he knows in um, just around our farm area he called uh, him and spoke to him like um, explaining the situation to him and told him if um, asked him if he would come and check on our beds for us and the vet officer said uh, to our manager that um, he was busy so he wasn't sure when he was going to make it and um, our farm manager also asked him whether he knew of anyone who could come and um, check on the bed because it was urgent but the, the vet officer was like no I'm busy and then I will let, I'm going to let you know when I'll be able to come and visit your farm in fact this really when we spoke to our farm manager we felt this wasn't right because um, what the vet officer said to the farm manager was that vet officers are very scarce in the area and he was the one who was in charge of the whole place therefore he had other appointment and therefore couldn't come um, as soon as possible so the thing is if he couldn't make it then that means our bears have to die or whatever 
happens to them should happen to them which wasn't right so he spoke to the vet officer like two weeks and he still hadn't heard anything so he, we called him and he explained to us that oh the man said he's gonna come when he's ready so my hobby was like no this is not right give me the number of this vet officer for me to speak to him so my hobby took the number of the um, vet officer and called him guys and this was after like three weeks after our farm manager i've spoken to him and he said he kept saying oh i'll come today i'll come tomorrow i'm going to let you know when i'll be coming so my husband took um, the number of our farm manager and let's say and gave and called the vet um, officer on a tuesday so when he called him he didn't get him then about an hour later he had a phone call back from the vet officer and um as soon as my husband picked the phone he was like oh hello who is this my husband was like oh i'm speaking it's about my farm that you spoke to um, such person certain person about visiting our farm and the man was like the vet officer was like oh yeah 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 i remember yes yes um i told him i was gonna come on monday so my hobby was like yeah we've been trying to get you to visit our farm because of it's um it's urgent and we need someone to check on our bed so please if you can go on monday for me i'll be very grateful and the man was like oh guys listen to this guys <laughs> i'm not being funny right i'm not being funny but listen to this and the vet officer was like oh now that i've heard from the main boss i'm gonna go there on monday so my hobby was like excuse me he said yeah now that i've heard from the main boss i'm sorry i do apologize for not being able to make it because i was busy i'm the only person who covers the whole area so i've got an appointment but now that i've heard from the main boss i'm gonna come so my husband was like okay then thank you please try and make it for me and guys can you believe it that it was on a it was on a saturday that my husband spoke to the vet officer on the monday 19th which was just this monday past 19th of april 2021 on a Monday, just this Monday, he visited our farm. Finally, he visited our farm. He visited the farm and stayed with our farm manager for four good hours. He checked on the bears and said everything was fine with them. And that um, sometimes when they start to lay, they um, they experience decrease in their egg production. But then as time goes on, it rises back again. So it's nothing for us to worry about. But then he also recommended some um, vitamins and also some um, uh, medications for our farm manager to get for the birds. In fact, when our farm manager called us that evening on Monday and told my, me and my hobby that, oh, he's finally visited our farm, we're so happy. And guys, guys, listen, after he's visited a farm, he himself picked up the phone and called us back and said, Oh, I've visited the farm and all your beds are fine. And from now on, anytime you need me to go to the farm, I'll go and visit. So my husband wanted him to even try and visit our farm like twice, um, tw uh, once every two months. But then he recommended that that wasn't a good idea because it was going to cost us money un um, un um, un unnecessarily, which wasn't right. So he recommended that at least because he's in the area at least um every four months or six months he can pop pop in there to check on the bears unless there's an emergency that we want him to come to the farm then he was happy to do this but he also advised that it wasn't good for him to be visiting the farm all the um once or twice in a month because it was going to cost us a lot so guys i just wanted to share this video with you to let you know guys know that it is so difficult getting a veterinary officer to visit farms in Ghana that's what I've come to realize because I've heard so many people complain about getting them to come and visit them to check on their bears it's not been easy guys it's not been easy and the fact that we ask our farmers because sometimes we don't want to get involved when it comes to dealing with um, people who are involved like veterinary officers people who do fees and stuff we've left all those responsibilities to our farm manager to deal with them then after he's done that we will call to check to make sure that things are just as early as he says so with this one we left it to him to make sure that uh, he was going to deal with the, pe the vet officer for him to come to the farm but then for some reason he wasn't doing it but as soon as we spoke to him he went straight to the farm to check on our beds and guys all I want to say is that 
our bears are now doing okay he checked on them and he said they were all doing very well they are healthy and we've done very well so far our farm manager is taking good care of them even when he called back my husband and spoke to him that he's visited the family he said oh your bears are looking very very good they are healthy and your farm manager is doing a good job guys so sometimes i know things are difficult in ghana that things doesn't work the way that they work um abroad where we are things work everything is straightforward but when it comes to ghana i believe that with patience things will get to normal things will work the way that we want them to work so guys i just want you i just wanted us to discuss this issue and see that and also say that we shouldn't all, always wait for when our beds are um, having unwell or have got infections before we get uh, vet officers to come in and check on them it is important that we get them to come into our farm once in a while to check on um, everything that we are doing so they can make recommendations and also check on how well we are doing so guys i hope this video helps you so the bears in the video that you are seeing now are our last bears that arrived in february of this year they are just nine weeks old now and um have just come out of their brooding house now so guys thank you so much for staying with me please if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates of when i upload new videos to my channel and to all those of you who have subscribed i just want to say thank you so much you've been amazing you've supported a sister and i'm grateful to you i'll see you all all of you in my next video please please take care of yourself stay safe and god bless you all bye for now bye bye take care bye bye